But congratulations, how are you feeling after that performance? Yeah, I'm relieved to be back on track. Uh, I've been talking about it for a while, just wanted to get myself back on track, back in the win column, and I can breathe today. So I'm, I'm feeling great. What do you think was the biggest step that you took in order to, to achieve that goal? I think, honestly, I was focusing a little bit too much on like technique in my fight. Like I really wanted to, I want to be as technical and crisp as possible, which I still do, but it was, I think it was kind of holding me back. Um, this whole fight, this whole camp was just about getting after it and getting it done by any means necessary. I did not care how I went tonight, but I came to win. Did you expect the fight to go the way that it did? Yeah, she, in the last round, put a little bit more pressure than I was thinking, but you know, it was the last round, so she, she needed to come out. Um, but yeah, I have wrestling to stop her, her attempted at takedowns, because I know she's very comfortable on the ground, which is where I assumed she wanted to go, but she will stand and strike if she can't get it there, so that's pretty much how I expected it would be. Is it difficult to prepare for somebody who hasn't had a fight in a while, you don't have new tape, you don't know what she's done to improve, or, or are you one that is really more focusing on yourself? Yeah, like maybe a while ago, I would have been a little bit nervous about, oh, two years out because I know how I train, so I know I try to evolve as much as possible. So in two years, that's quite a bit of time. But uh, currently, like I said, I was really just um, trying to get in here and, and put a pace and a pressure. So I wasn't really concerned about what technique was going to happen. I was just, you know, wherever it goes is where it goes. And I just need to go hard wherever that is. So um, I was pretty co comfortable with, with, you know, her being out for a while. What was the last piece of advice that your grandma gave you before you fought? I heard her in the third round, so I was super, super excited. But uh, yesterday she was on fire. She was, she's wild, let me tell you, my grandma's wild. Uh, she loves fighting, she loves me, and she's just, she was hyped, very hyped. I, I don't know exactly what she said, probably couldn't say everything of what she said, but she pretty much said, uh, kick ass, get after it, and get it done. Uh, what's the next step for you? When do you want to get back in there? Do you have an opponent in mind, a date, a location, anything like that? I want to stay active. Um, the year is almost over, so I'd probably like to just hang out the rest of the year. We're moving gyms, so kind of have some personal things. And then beginning of the year, uh, line it up. I don't care who, I don't care when or where. Last question. There was some big USADA news this week. You know, all of that happening during a fight camp when you were preparing. Was that, did it throw you off at all? Or do you have any thoughts on, on switching now to a different drug testing facility? It didn't uh, throw me off at all. Um, you know, for me, you saw it as just something that like we need to do. So it's just like, I'm not constantly worrying about it. Just something that like is, is a part of the job. So um, they're switching over. Cool, we'll see how it shakes out, how smooth it is, but I'm not worried about it. Thank you. Are you one of the fighters that had any kind of weird moments when it came to the USADA coming at early hours or anything that was distracting? I uh, have not had any issues with them. Like, thankfully, they've been really great, uh, very professional, very nice. So um, I see them, I <laughs> do what we need to do, and then we go on our ways. That's good. Well, it seems like the, the, the brass is taking lots of fighter input, so I'm not sure if you're the kind that wants to input and say what you think about the drug testing program, especially when it comes to, like, the hours and stuff, but they seem pretty receptive. When you hear things like that, does that feel good for you, knowing that they want to take fighters' input and how the new program is going to get... Uh, set up yeah I do like um you know I haven't been inconvenienced at like weird times or whatever so I'm really thankful for that you know those big I feel like they go after more like the big name people and try to do that you or the bigger name people you know will call it out more I guess but um luckily I haven't had to deal with that but it it is inconvenient you know if you're on a sleep regimen you know when you're close to a fight you're on a very strict schedule so you want to get your sleep you want to get your rest you're kind of on a routine any disturbance can be kind of um, distracting so I understand where some of those fighters are coming from but luckily I've not had to deal with that so but to hear that they're working to make it you know more comfortable for everybody while still getting all the testing done is is that's great news to me you mentioned about trying not to focus so much on technique. How do you, while you're in there fighting, how do you find that sweet spot? I mean, is it really trying to make the most of just when you're in training, when you're in the gym, to really focus on the technique there that allows you to, to not maybe think about it here? How do you find that sweet spot when you get into the moment? I feel like a lot of fighters go through phases, or like at least I do, where like I focus on different things at different times, and I, I just got really like hyper focused on like wanting to be super crisp, super technical, and. And that's awesome, I still do, but I, I do feel like, you know, I was waiting for the timing in the fights, and if it doesn't happen, then you are not active. So, um, 
you know, I just needed to take the waiting out this round, this, this fight, this fight camp, and it landed, you know, like it'll land. It, it might not look as pretty as like, you know, a perfectly timed shot, but like at the end of the day, I got the job done, I got my hand raised, and, and that's all I care about for this fight, you know. Maybe in the future, I'll work and see how to balance like technique and aggression, but um, you know, I just needed to, to get it done today. Well, looking at the results of the techniques today, you know, you definitely marked her up, cut her up above both eyes. You know, you got to be pretty happy with how your striking was playing out out there. Yeah, I, I only saw one cut, so I was trying to, like, target that. Uh, I didn't realize it was two until after. But, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that it was, I was able to land and, you know, not take too much damage. I mean, I got hit, but, you know, no cuts or anything. Sometimes when the eyes get swollen, it's kind of difficult to see and stuff. So I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, whereas you looked like you were definitely having the better of the, the straight head striking. She was getting some good shots when it came to some of the elbows and some of the knees. How hard were some of those, and did those affect you as the fight was going on? I mean, she was throwing. Um, she had landed some good body shots. I, I know she used that back leg a lot, so I was expecting that, you know, catch, sweep, block them. I feel like she landed a couple, I, and I blocked the rest. Congrats on the victory. Thank you. You mentioned things maybe not looking pretty, but what was beautiful is that right hook to the body. Did you guys study that in her fights? Because it was there for you all night. I love the body shots. I love the body work. Um, I just haven't been able to land them. So really glad that they worked out tonight. And uh, her being so long and lanky, I knew that the bo either the body or the head was going to be open. So really, we just worked on rotating between the two. If head's open, you know, go there. If the body's open, go there. Yes, and you. I'm sure you have to have, once you see the tape, of course, you have to be happy with your boxing tonight because that looked on point. The shots were there. You found your range. And uh, how happy were you that she just kept coming forward, though? Props to Yoder. She was not having it and just terminate her towards you. Yeah, she's tough for sure. Um, she has a lot of fights like me. You know, a lot of people in the UFC don't have a lot of fights or a lot of, I guess, experience coming in before. Yoder, myself, and quite a bit of other people on the roster have pre-UFC experience, so I feel like that plays out and. And she was really tough. And now that you uh, got the first fight out of the way, you could enjoy the show. Was it nice to just be like, okay, went to work, now I can relax. Well, I was so excited that it was the first fight. Um, honestly, early, I love early. 11, 1 o'clock, that's perfect time for me. What's it like with the celebration? You're hitting NASCAR, you're going to just stay in Vegas for a little bit. What's up? I have family here. My grandma flew out. I've got friends that came out. I've got you know, my dad, my mom. Um, We've got a group, so not everyone's here at the Apex, but they're out somewhere celebrating, and we're going to meet up after, eat, and just, you know, really enjoy today. There you go. Celebration. Woohoo! Yes. Thank you.